first Christmas together, I was pregnant, and pretty big pregnant then, with Alan, and we didn't have anything. Phil went out, and we he picked out a Christmas tree and chopped it down. And he said it was on land that we could do that on. I wonder about it now. But I, I remember... poached the tree. Yeah, well, that's what I figured. But I remember just anticipating, you know, Alan was due January the 4th. So we had the baby coming. And I remember what the doctor said, now do not go, do not drive to the other side of Shreveport where he's from to his parents because I was too close to having the baby. But I remember we were over there just ourselves and it was so sad and I thought, it just doesn't seem like Christmas without family. So what do we do? What any two teenagers would do? We got in the car and drove to his mom and dad's and we had Christmas there because we didn't want to be alone. My worst Christmas was the year that um, we weren't together. And well, there's just piles of trouble that came from Phil's life at that time. And then the best Christmas was the Christmas when he discovered Jesus and um, our lives were changed. And we were so happy. It was like going from death to life, which is really what happened on it. You know, in that time, Alan, who was nine years old, had told me God's going to take care of us. And when around that tree that day with their dad, who was, it was like he was dead and then he was alive. And our family, which was dead, but then it was alive. I mean, those words that Alan said, God's going to take care of us. And you know what? Yes, and he did.